We wrap up our five islands in five days visit with a visit to Vashon Island. It can be a weekend getaway or a quick day trip with the family. Jake and I found that sometimes the best way to sightsee is to take a more leisurely approach. I just realized we've been on a lot of ferry boats on this series. And we've been driving around a lot. Yeah, I think it's time to just get out of the car. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Are you Eric? I am. Hi, Hi. Nice, hey, nice to nice meet, to meet you. you. How's things? Good. We're here to ride some e-bikes. Excellent. We're really focused on excursions, eco-friendly excursions, family and eco-friendly excursions. And so we have the electric bikes. We moved to Vashon about eight years ago from Seattle and really wanted the experience. There's just a lot of places that you can access really well by bike. We partnered with King County to operate Moore Island Marine Park, and these are primitive campsites at six tenths of a mile to walk in. You can ride all the way down to the Point Robinson Lighthouse. It's about 16 miles, and you can do it in about two and a half hours with time on the beach. I can see why people like to do this. All right, merging. This makes biking really easy. So apparently there's a bicycle that is in a tree. It's embedded in a tree. Oh, I think I've seen is. that before. That's it. No way. Look at that. Looks a little bit different. So there's all these stories about how this bike ended up in <laughs> this tree. It's like someone left the bike here and the tree just grew and grew around it. Into it. That is incredible. And then our little yellow dots are also very handy dots. There are three wineries and two cideries on Vashon Island. It's a great place. I'm Laura Cherry, and I'm the owner of Dragon's Head Cider on Vashon Island. We've got uh, six different ciders that we're serving right now. Our ciders are all 100% apple. It just keeps going. It just yeah, keeps going. <laughs> We've got a nice outdoor space as well, so people can bring a picnic and hang out and taste the cider as they eat their lunch. We also make something called pomo. It's a combination of apple brandy and a young cider that has quite a bit of residual sweetness. It's the same process that's used to make port wine, but just with apples instead of grapes. During the week, we do production here. It was a hobby for a while. First, we made carboys of cider in our kitchen and then kind of started to think about what kind of thing we wanted to do with the next 10, 15 years of our lives and went ahead from there. A really great community of folks that live out here. A lot of support for the local businesses, too. Thanks, Laura. Yeah. We will be back when it's sunny. That sounds yeah. great. <laughs> Thank you. Amazing. Definitely getting wetter. This is definitely Northwest Island Life. People think we have such great jobs. If you've been watching our Five Islands Five Days segment, uh, this is one of the low points. <laughs> we... Whose idea was this anyway? <laughs> Do you have a map? Yes, we have a okay. map, but do, you, but do you have a towel, is the question. <laughs> I have a napkin. You have a napkin. Have a napkin. I'll napkin? take it. I'll take Thank it. Thank you. Here? All right, yeah. Uh, Go to the back on the beach. I think we need a warm right. cup of coffee. Let's find a good local coffee shop. Hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> you mind if we try your coffee? We would love that. What can we get for you? We roasted ourselves and everyone comes from a long line of education and sourcing it. They quality are drink making. Wow. Yeah, looks like almost eight miles. Eight miles, is that Excellent. good? Excellent, that's great. We will be back, we will be back. See you guys. Bye-bye, thank Bye. you, that was great, bye. Back to the mainland. Yeah.